Hello guys, welcome back to another game on my iPad. Today I'm playing Crush the Castle. Uh, it's a game where you crush castles. It's pretty simple. I have completely played through this before on my own, so... I can show you some of the basics. You start with a rock. Pretty simple. I just tap. And tap again to release. Didn't quite get him. Shoot again. To pits. And that was useless. Luckily, I've played through it. So I have bombs. Yes, every uh, level you play on this, you get a new type of weapon. Uh, the next level, I believe, is this one. I'm not sure, actually. Either way, your weapons progress, they get better. You end up with bombs, a triple bomb, which is pretty good. And then you unlock this place, which is difficult. Because it resets your weapons. You have to be a little bit smarter about the way you use the weapons in this one. Yeah, I didn't think so. Mm, not quite sure how to do this. Let's use this. Too high. <laughs> yeah, it's a fire bomb. It'll burn any parts that are made of wood. That's too high. There it is. That's what I was trying to do the whole time. Whatever. Turn another one. Uh, this is one of those ones where you can use the firebomb. Because as you can see right here. Go. There, see? It's all put right here. Let's go. There you go. Mm, it's all wood, so... Should get it. It's gone. Okay, that was random. So yeah, similar to Angry Birds, but a by, by far a long predecessor. This has been out since, since forever as a uh, Flash game. And even before that, there was uh, Castle Clot, which this one's based off of. 
So yeah, nothing new here. Uh, it doesn't have any options at all, as far as I can tell. Yeah, it's a straight copy of, uh, of the Flash game. I've still never unlocked this, so... <laughs> Anyways, if you like Angry Birds, this is something about... This is along the same lines. Maybe slightly less ridiculous. No in-app purchases or social nonsense. So, if you like those games, but hate all the stupid details, Crush the Castle. Why not? Uh, that's it for today. My name is JP, and I'll see you next time.